Good morning students. Today we are going to learn cursive writing capital letters under chapter 5. So once again I welcome you all to my channel KSR English Made Easy. If you like this these videos share them and subscribe to your so let us consider all the letters from A to Z. Letters from A to Z. Here we I have written all the letters from A to Z. See all of you. And here we practice all these letters stroke by stroke, but not as individual letters. We have to divide each and every letter into strokes. While writing cursive capital letters, we should always remember that they must be only written in upper zone and middle zone. They should not come down to the lower zone. Please do remember this. So let us start with the letter A. All the strokes divide into three strokes. Starting this one from middle zone to the top line of the upper zone and then come down to the middle zone this is the first one and this is the second one and give the ending stroke like this this is A A is divided into three strokes one two and three one two and three this is how we write A Next, we go to letter B. The first one is start from the upper zone like this. The second one is like this in the upper zone. And the third one is like this. One, two, three. Let me show you completely. 1, 2 and 3, 1, 2 and 3. Here you please do remember that the upper part mu must be smaller than the lower part. Okay, if you write like this it looks very odd. See here, it looks very odd. Don't write like this. Next we go to the letter. C. C is very simple. Write the letter complete letter C like this. Okay. Next, give the stroke like this. This is C. We can write C from top also like this. Like this we can also write. But if you write like this it becomes very easy. Next, letter is The next letter is D. Okay. D is divided into three strokes from the upper zone to the lower zone. The next one is you make a small turning like this to the upper zone. It's one, two, and then make a round like this. Okay. One. 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 when you practice all these letters you have to practice very slowly so that all the letters will be very accurate next one is E first you write like this next come down to the middle zone this should be somewhat a bigger than this one one two next give the final stroke like this one two three you can also write at a stretch like this if you get a good practice you can write like this okay one two three okay one two three but if you practice like this as i have told you all these one two three strokes it becomes very easy for you right next F 
f can be divided into three strokes one is this one and next one is this one and the third one is this one one two three one two three like this we write okay next we move on to the letter z so as we have written the first stroke in e write like this slanty one and write like this second one and third one give a small loop like this one two three okay the light like this and give the loop <coughs> Give the look like this. It looks very attractive. You can write at a stretch. Once you get the practice, you will be able to write like this. Okay. See how beautiful it looks. Okay. Now we move on to the letter H. The first one is this. The second one is like this. And the third one is like this one two three one two three one two and three if you bend the second stroke this one here it looks very beautiful right next one is I write this stroke in the upper zone and and come down like this two one and two one and two one and two right like this next we move on to the letter z z is a little bit easier than the rest make a small stroke like this and give a line like this one and two one and two when you practice you have to practice very slowly okay next we go to the letter K K is divided into four strokes okay the first one is the same stroke that we are seeing this and now we turn on to the middle zone like this one and two and this is the third one in the upper zone part and in the final one is like this one two three and four I hope you are all getting this. Now I am going to write all the strokes at a time. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So when you write all these letters, they must be in the slanty lines. Please do remember once again. This is already uh, discussed in the previous chapters. Next we move on to the letter L. L is uh, again divided into three strokes. The first one is from the upper zone to the lower zone like this. Okay, slanty one. The second one is like this. First one. And second one here give the third one like this when you practice you practice like this once you get the letter you can write like this from top to bottom at a time okay next we'll go to the next letter 
m m is divided into three strokes the first one is the same one as you have seen in a and get down to the middle zone and move on to the next one you can make another extra stroke one two three and again this one one two three four for your convenience i have added another stroke four four strokes here let me show you in a single picture one two three four one straight line again slanty line again straight line like this next m once you know the letter m you can easily write m same stroke as we have written here and straight line one and straight line and like this three strokes one two and three one two and three one two and three it looks nice next one is o since o is a simple letter i'll just show you in a single stroke start here from here okay start here and take inside and touch it here okay i will write as an oval shape it looks good oh next we move on to the letter p p as we have uh, seen the stroke in b write the first stroke like this from upper zone to the middle zone and then write like this this is nothing but the second stroke in the letter b if you know the way how you write the letter b definitely you know the way writing letter p one and two one and two next one is q q is nothing but the halfway b right in o first write o and then give the ending stroke like this O like this like this while you are writing if you get any kind of wrong you just put an into or that for example you have written like this this is wrong and put an into don't scribble or that this is a good way of practice Q is over. Next one is R. If you know P, automatically we can write. This is P. We have already written. Add an ending stroke to your P. This is what? Is that? One, two, and three. When you are writing, write freely so that you get the ending stroke beautifully. Okay. This is R. Next one is S. S from bottom to top. You go like this. Next one is. Make a loop like that. Hope you are getting this. This is S. Next one is T. T is nothing but just like J. Okay. Put a straight line here. J has a curve like, but T has a straight line structure. T. 
okay the children uh, let me show you the way how you write you first one is start here and come down to the middle zone we remember it must be around here if you write a cone like structure it appears like v and bend this inside okay one two three one two and three one two and three okay when you're writing see that all the letters must have of the same size same size next we write v same stroke as we have seen in this now take like this here it must be a sharp ending one two inside three one two inside three i think uh, you have been observing the way how v is written the ending here the ending see here the cone like structure okay now we write w w is nothing but writing two use right the structure first one as we have written in u and write this one and write again and turn it into inside one two three one two three children when you're writing w you see that the two parts of w are in the same distance okay if you write like this it looks a bit odd see this has a part and this has this part so this is looking somewhat bigger than this starting one so it's a wrong one next one is x this is very simple as you know from upper zone to come down to the middle zone and again okay touch here in the middle part right like this one two one two next one is Y. Now write this structure here. Next one is this one. Z. Children, Z is very easy. The first one as you have seen in F and then come to this part. This should not exceed this one. Okay. Z. 1, 2, 3. If you write like this, it looks odd. This slantiness is more. Okay. This is quite enough. Z. This is how we write all the letters, children. Uh, let me show you all the letters at a time. If you write all the letters at a time, how it? When you practice all the letters, you practice very slowly. Give importance to accuracy, but not to the speed. First letter is A. One, two, and three. Next one is B. Next letter is C. Next letter is D. Next one is E. For your convenience, I would like to write like this as strokes. Next one is F. Z.
H I J K L M one, two, three, and four. M one, two, three, O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Chillam, if you practice all these letters, definitely you can write all the cursive letters in capitals very well. Hope you got under understood this. So if you like the video, subscribe this channel and as well as share the same to all your friends. Thank you. In the next video, I am going to tell you how we can write words using capital letters as well as small letters. See you all guys. Bye-bye.